December 6, 1997 December 21st 1998 The 47th week of 1997, so this cave is obviously a reprint. June 5th, 2000. It's one of the DreamWorks, one, I believe the only DreamWorks animated movie that was not released in theaters. Instead, it was directed video. Ben sets already. January 26, 2001. March 2nd, 1998, it comes with an advertisement, save $10 on any from uh, these cereals and stuff. This offer expired on April 16th, 1998. Former room from Blockbuster purchased on February 25th, 2002. Um, and the print date is covered by the Blockbuster sticker, so I'll have to review it uh, uh, soon and see what the print date is. February 9th, 2002. You can see right here, the tape itself is a little moldy right here. And on this one too, so. Not sure if the tape is going to play it or not, but if it gets damp, it will get ruined up. In that case, I'm probably going to find a better condition copy. Now, here's the slip covers. The 
Fourth week of 1998. Formal from Cinema Video. One of the PBS Home Video VHSs that are distributed by Warner Home Video, but I checked the tape and the Warner Home Video logo is not shown. Only the PBS Home Video logo is shown though. What's the print date? Oh, July 24th, 2000. It's a little hard to see the print date on this tape, but... That's okay. September 2nd, 1996, and this tape is in EP mode, so what do you expect? So, yeah. March 3rd, 2000. It's originally 1997 VHS, I believe, but this, this tape is obviously a reprint. The print date is covered by the Hollywood video sticker, so I'll have to see. I'll have to review what the print date is when I after after I done with this video. This movie also have it on DVD, so I decided to get the VHS of Cold Mountain. So why not go ahead and get it? May 27th, 2004. It's a former rental from Hollywood Video. Yep. This tape looked pretty interesting. This tape had the shrink wrap when I got it, but but the tape itself is open from the bottom, so this is obviously used. Same thing with Cindy Lopper 12 Deadly Guns, I believe. January 16th, 1996. Form around from an unknown video store, so can't tell what it, the I don't know what what video store it came from.
here's part one and part two. Both tapes are printed in the 18th week of 1999, so this is a a later printing. The 20th week of Town Threes, so this is a later printing. Especially to have the two VHS. Someone named Pearl B. O'Kelly used to own this tape, but it's mine now. You well, can't really see that well, but that's all right. July 27th, 1999. The former owner from Blockbuster purchased on July 8th, 2003. DreamWorks Pictures movie co produced by Universal. Print date is unknown as this time, so when I found out the print date, I looked up the annotations. March thirty March thirtieth, two thousand two, and April third, two thousand two. It's originally nineteen ninety nine VHS, but this is a layer printing. It's one of the first films that are co produced by Spyglass Entertainment, so yeah. This one I've never heard until I came across it and I thought it looked pretty interesting. Apparently enough, there is no printing on this tape. Wait, there's a there print date? No, there's not. I don't see a print date. Or we can your code. Oh well. I'm gonna have to stop here for part one of, of my what I had what I got for Christmas 2018. And I'll see you in part two.